Is PTM7950 competitive with liquid metal for CPU cooling? PTM7950 phase change material is a popular thermal interface material for high-performance laptops and desktops. Many users report that they obtain with PTM7950 similar temperatures to liquid metal. Let's take a closer look at these surprising results and try to explain them. The performance of TIM is measured by how low its thermal resistance is. To reduce thermal resistance, we are looking for high TIM conductivity, known as K, and low bond line thickness. PTM7950 has a rated K of 8.5 and initial thickness of 250 microns that needs to be compressed by over 6 times down to 38 microns to achieve thermal resistance of 0.04. Liquid metal has a 4 times higher K of about 35 and under half the bond line thickness, under 15 microns. So the potential thermal resistance of liquid metal is 0.004, 10 times better than PTM7950. An expert may note that the comparison is incomplete because thermal resistance must account for the surface interfaces between the chip, the team, and the heat spreader. Liquid metal, in particular, requires careful attention to achieve strong, low-resistance adhesion on both surfaces, which is why the ALMA process includes a dedicated priming stage and applicator. PTM7950 application may seem easier just placing the pad and attaching the heat spreader, but for effective cooling, the pad must undergo combined phase change and thinning through compression, not all heat spreaders can keep the correct pressure while the pad thickness is decreasing by hundreds of microns. To summarize, PTM7950 thermal resistance should be quite low if a compatible heat spreader is used, but properly applied liquid metal is an order of magnitude better. Unfortunately, liquid metal joints in many laptops and GPUs are suboptimal, and many DIY users are not provided with proper tools and training for optimal liquid metal application. AlmaKit is intended to change that by enabling anyone to apply liquid metal easily, safely and precisely for achieving an optimal liquid metal thermal joint. Thanks for watching.